recent baseball deal was. What we got from the Marlins was not a, a good deal. We have no, no rent revenue. We have no seat revenue. We have no advertising revenue. We got no concession revenue. We get nothing. We get to pay a million dollars a year to help maintain the stadium. And we've increased the value of the franchise. We're going to put a couple hundred million dollars in one person's pocket. And we're, going to, and we're saddled with all the debt. Now, this deal was bad. The debt is even worse. I have a two-year-old, almost two-year-old granddaughter who will be 40 years old by the time the debt is paid off. And the worst part about it is she is going to have to bear the majority of that debt because that debt was pushed off in the future. That's unconscionable for us to, to steal our children and our grandchildren's legacy, their ability to create their own projects in the future. To me, that's unconscionable, and, uh, and I couldn't vote for it. I voted against all the union contracts, not because I'm against labor. Uh, actually, I was, a, I was a union uh, person for over 28 years, but because there's no way that you can increase your labor costs at a time when you know you're going to have less money coming in. You, you can only do one of three things. You have to fire a whole bunch of people, you're going to have to raise taxes, or a combination of raising taxes and firing a whole bunch of people. And I told the mayor then, a year and a half ago, two years ago, you shouldn't do this, this is not the right thing to do, this is not, these contracts are going to you know, run us into the ground, and it's just not right. Well. Passed it anyway. A year ago, close to a year ago, nine months ago, ten months ago, I voted against the, the property tax increase because I had told the mayor when I when I spoke against the contract, you're going to come back with a tax increase. I'm not going to support you because you're not doing the right thing. But I'm not a naysayer or a no, no, no. Uh, in every single instance where I voted no, I always gave another option with the Marlins Stadium. I proposed five, six, seven different amendments to that deal to make it a better deal. It was voted down. With the with the contracts, I said, you need to do this. We need to keep them open-ended. That way we know that if we have less money, we, we have flexibility. That was the option that should have been taken. And obviously, we should have never raised, you know, rose, uh, risen the, uh, the property uh, property taxes. When I was, uh, like I said, I'm not, no, I'm not a, a naysayer. I actually have a pretty good vision of what we need to do. In 2004 and 5, when I was the chair of transportation, and the North Terminal at the airport was running into the ground. It was American Airlines, American Airlines had that contract. There was no end date. There was no budget. I was the person that, that, that took that back and brought it back into the county. Why? We needed to complete that project. Why did we need to complete that project? The North and South Terminal are going to now have housed or serve 90% of all the passengers that go in and out of Miami International Airport. We need to keep that airport competitive because it is the number one economic generator in Miami-Dade County. 300,000 jobs are, are tied directly or indirectly to that, uh, to that airport. Some of you may not like what you're about to hear, but I also voted for that tunnel. And I voted for that tunnel because it is a, instead, you know, I voted no for the, the stadium, but I voted for that tunnel because it is an in, a needed infrastructure improvement to the Port of Miami, which is the second leading economic generator in Miami-Dade County. 200,000 jobs are tied directly or indirectly to that, to that port. Once you tie that in to the deep dredge of 50 feet, we can now more than double our cargo capacity because now we're, we're going to be one of three ports in all of the eastern seaboard that will be able to accept the supercargo ships that will now be able to go through the Panama Canal once they finish their 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 uh, their project, and we are the closest port geographically to the port to to the Panama Canal. We will be able to double That's our cargo capacity. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yes. Most people didn't know that, so you know I take sometimes some unpopular position because you have to have a vision of what you want to see Miami Dade County be. That was a state project. More than half of the funds were, were funded by the state. The state is doing it through a public-private partnership. Miami-Dade County isn't doing it. So I had a lot of confidence it was going to be.